Hi there, I'm Jamie Lemon. We're going to take a look at my video for my single, A Handsome Stranger Called Death, which came off my uh, 2019 album Shuffle, which is all covers. Um, just before we look at the video, I uh, just want to tell you about how it, we came to make it. Basically, I've done an entire record of covers, this record Shuffle, and I'd made loads of videos for them in partnership with my buddy Scott Sharma, great photographer. And uh, sometimes he'd take all of it, sometimes I'd tackle all of it, sometimes we come together. It was a great partnership. And when I'd release the album, the trouble is you release all the singles before the album comes out to give everyone a taste and they're all excited. And then when the albums come out, how do you promote the album? Because everyone's heard all the tracks. And so what I've done for my past few records is uh, I always have an idea about how I might like to revisit one or two of the tracks. And so I take that as an opportunity to do that. Once the album is out, you want to put out a single, but to make it sort of new, basically what I do is I put a saxophone on it. I love saxophone. And uh, there's always different ways of playing these songs. And so for Handsome Stranger, which I loved, I thought, hmm, maybe there's a slightly uh, funkier version with some saxophone. So that's what we did, and I came to make a video for it, and I had a whole concept worked out that was completely different from the concept you see, and then it suddenly dawned on me, literally the week before we were about to shoot this video, Scotty and I, that even though my album was all covers, every single song wasn't a song I'd written, it was by someone else. We'd done all these videos, and none of the videos were a cover of a famous music video which is such an obvious idea. You'd have thought I'd have done that for every track, every single on the record, but I hadn't even considered it until like a week before what we knew was basically going to be the final track off Shuffle. So with about a week to spare, I quickly brainstormed and thought, oh my God, right, what? Because I'd run out of money, I'd run out of time. What video could we spoof, could we Swede um, do a, um, a tribute to, a cover of in... Um, the time we had left in a small studio above an antiques emporium in Southampton what could we do and and which videos were so famous that we could you know do it to an extent that people would know what we were getting at and after a long time of thinking about this and getting going mad I realized Robert Palmer's Addicted to Love is so iconic that it would have to be that so I roped all my buddies together and that was the video and I'm really pleased let's have a look here we go, Handsome Stranger Called Death by Jimmy Lemon. So it starts here with my old pal, Dave Gardner. There's so many pals in it, you'll get to see them in a minute. Look at those legs, oh yeah. There's the graphic they designed. Here's the whole look. We decided to go, because everyone in Robert Palmer's videos were wearing black, but Shuffle is red, so I styled everyone red, bought these nasty cheap um, dresses for the ladies to wear. And these horrible, almost orange shirts for the boys to wear. So the band, from left to right, there's Jack on the left, who now plays drums for me. I think at this point he hadn't actually played drums for me. I just knew him from um, touring with Arcane Roots. And I was like, hey Jack, you want to come and uh, wear crazy makeup and all red and pretend to play the saxophone? He's like, yeah, no, I ain't doing nothing. And then next to him on the saxophone is Hannah Lou Clark, who wrote the song. This is her song that I nicked off her. And I just adore it so much. So I was like, hey, Hannah, <laughs> look at Jacko's hands. Do you want to come and play the saxophone? We tried. We didn't do it shot for shot. We didn't match every shot of the Robert Palmer original, just the vibe and the layout. So the things like the vacant looking um, models and the terrible miming. Look, Katie there, my wife, doing some bad miming. And the really bad dance. Jack's hands on the piano. I love it. What a genius. Dave Gardner, my friend from when we used to tour together in bands, doing a really good bad job on the drums here. And there's this the bit where Jim licks his lips. No, there's Jim on the right there on my guitar. <laughs> Look at Dave's drum fill. There's a very famous shot in the video where one of the models licks their lips and we got Jim to do it. I had my face sort of made up. Look at Jack's sexy hips. <laughs> I had my face made up to look a bit more 80s and we had a big black, there's the lip lick shot. Wonderful Jim. And here's Hannah's amazing saxophone solo, Jack's piano playing. We just had this black backdrop and I just sort of, because in the original video it's like fiery, but we're fiery in this one, so I had to make the backdrop black and white. I sprayed it with some white paint red liner. It looks pretty good, it took ages to get on there. And because we were copying the Robert Palmer video, really, this is quite limited in terms of shots. Usually what I'd like to do is present layers of visuals, start the video with one layer, have a sort of second act, bring in another visual element in the third act. Oh, I love this. So this is my third act with everyone start singing to camera, which they do in the Robert Palmer original, I'm pretty sure. That's my wife, Katie, really giving it on the moves there. She's been studying this videos, basically in her text. I love Hannah's left to right dancing. 
I want to remind you that this record is not the fault of anyone involved. They're only doing this because they're my friends and they agreed to come down. Jim and Dave came all the way from South End and Hannah came from Cambridge. What a wonderful, wonderful group of people. I'm so lucky to have such great chums. So what fun. Oh look, that keyboard actually, I bought it, I forgot to say I bought it for like 2p off eBay because it's completely broken and it arrived with, it was missing some keys and you could just about see at the top there that I had to replace the keys strategically with bits of cardboard so Jacko could play it. So I think someone, I think Scotty sold it to someone, I don't know, anyway, is it you? Have you got my keyboard? There's my keyboard. <laughs> 